Hey there, Ann Strout here. I wanted to do a video today on uh, how you present yourself in your company, you know, your role, your title, so to speak. And I just finished um, a week with my mastermind group and we had some really juicy topics this week. So um, I'm kind of excited to talk about that and share that with you today. And one of the topics that we were talking about is, again, how you, how you present yourself within your company, is, is what your role is, what your title is. And we talked about, we labeled it as, are you a king or queen within your company, uh, within your, your expertise and in your company. And I want to define what I mean by that. So when I say, are you a king or queen, uh, I'm not saying, you know, are you the king or queen of your niche? Or are you the king or queen of this entire industry? You know, are you this um, massive expertise in your industry? Of course you are. So I don't need to ask that, right? Because of course you are. Um, you dominate your industry. You're an expert in your niche. It's what you do. It's what you love. It's your passion. If you're doing anything else, then maybe you're not a king or queen, but you are the king or queen within your niche, which is why you do it. But I'm talking um, about how you present yourself to your audience. Do you present yourself to them as a king or a queen within your industry? So the reason I ask this is because a lot of times if you look at yourself, if you think your title is a king uh, or a queen, if you say I am the queen of social media and not only am I the queen, but I am amongst all, you know, the best. There's nobody better than me. I am it. Like, I'm the big thing. What I basically want to talk about is, if that's what you are, that's fine. But if that's how you define yourself to your audience, you're going to have a few struggles. And I'm going to explain what I mean by that. Because typically, a king or a queen uh, will usually think that they're the big deal, right? Um, to everybody around them. So they think, you know, hey, I'm, I'm the biggest, the big thing, you know, around here. And that is exactly the mentality that a king or queen would have, right, is I'm the next big thing, I am the big thing, I'm, I'm better than everybody around me, like, I'm the big deal. And in their own mind, they're their own legend. A king or queen is their own legend in their own mind, right? In, in their mind, they are it. And, and everyone around them, there is, you know, they're the legend to the entire universe around them. And usually what will happen is a king or queen uh, usually focuses on themselves. They'll discuss their own businesses, their own activities, their own goals, their own successes, um, you know, their own things. So they'll talk about them, right? It's all about them because, again, they're the big thing. They are the, this big legend, and everything is about them. It, it just everything revolves around them. And the other piece of that is, is that you know, usually that they they think that everyone that their expertise and their um, their own leg legacy is an interest to everybody around them. Right, so they think that everybody around them has this big interest in this legend and this big deal, which is them themselves, and the entire universe generally revolves around them, right? Um, and and if you try to convince them otherwise, it's I mean it just doesn't do any good for you, uh, and it doesn't typically go very far, right? Because in their mind, they're this big legend, they're the big thing, and everybody is, that's around them is very interested in them. It's interested in everything that they do and everything they have to say, and, and the world, literally, they convince themselves that the world evolves around them and their successes and their goals and their activities. And this behavior will usually cause, uh, you know, people around them to... Uh, actually resent them. And, and it's not so much that they look at them as a legend or the big thing or, you know, they're this big mass 
you know, expertise in this area and they look up to them and gener generally, uh, you know, rely on their sources. And it actually ends up the opposite, where they actually resent that king or queen, so to speak. And um, they will actually, um, they'll end up actually sabotaging the king or queen, you know, with maybe possibly aggressive behavior. So something for an example would be, you know, they see that the king or the queen has parked in a no parking zone during a massive snowstorm in a parking band, and they look outside and see that that vehicle is getting towed. They won't actually go to the king or the queen and tell them that their vehicle is being towed. They will just sit back and watch that. And to them, that is actually pleasant to see. Like, haha, you know. Uh, so they'll self-sabotage with that type of behavior um, because in all actuality, uh, you know, they're looking at the king or queen um, in definitely the opposite of a, a legend. And essentially, um, it's an experience where the king or queen is actually um, setting that experience for that self-sabotage uh, situation to take place like that. And most of the time, the people around them will celebrate their demise. They'll be happy to see them go or happy to see something not so great, maybe something negative happen to them. So what I just want to ask today, and we talked about this a lot in my, uh, in our, in my mastermind program this past week, is are you a king or a queen? And, and when I say that, I like to consider myself the queen of what I do. But I don't present myself as a queen or a king or, you know, anything to, or a legend to my audience, you know, to my followers and, and my fans. I, I don't present myself. I like to present myself as an educator and as a teacher, and I believe that that's what we all should do. We should all be educators, teachers, and in our expertise, in our area of expertise, you are an educator and a teacher. And if you present yourself as a king or queen, these are some of the things that can happen. And you can actually bring a lot of negativity into the area and a lot of resentment, which can happen in these aggressive uh, behaviors. So I just want to give you guys a little bit to think about. And I want you guys to think about the way that you actually present yourself to your audience and to your list and your, you know, your prospects and your clients and your customers. And is it in a way that's benefiting you? And is is putting you out there as a teacher or as an um, a teach an expert teacher or educator in your expertise versus this legend or the net or this big thing that the whole world revolves around. And the other piece of that too that I want to touch on real quick is making sure that when you are communicating with your audience and your prospects and your customers and your clients that you're doing it in a way where you are educating people and you are talking about what they are going to receive from you and the transformations they can receive. And make sure that the main focus is not on you. And again, a lot of the times, if you are presenting as a king or a queen, your main focus is on your activities, your successes, your goals. Um, and that's really not what our audience wants to know about. Uh, it's good to briefly share that just to show them the possibilities. Um, that these things can happen for them too and that you can relate to where they are now or where they've been and how to get out of that and get where you really want to be. It's good to share that briefly, but make sure your main focus is not revolved around you, right? We want to show our audience and, and our fans how what we've gone through, we want to teach and show them how to do the same thing so they can experience And then we want to go into details about how they can experience that and how you can show them the step-by-step -step to have that same transformation. So remember, when they're listening to you, they really want to hear the transformation they're going to get, and they don't really want to hear so much about you. So make sure that you're not um, putting yourself out there as this king or queen where the world revolves around you and that everybody is interested in you. It's more so that transformation, that expertise that you have that they're interested in. They want to learn from your expertise on how they can implement that into their own lives and have that same transformation. So I hope that this helps. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, please 
uh, post them below and please don't hesitate to share your experience and your knowledge or add to this. My fans love it. It's great to share our expertise and our knowledges and we all want to be a part of that. So please share your uh, comment and input below and you know your experience. I'd love to hear about it. So until next time, this is Anne Stroud. Thanks guys.